Hey everyone, Ruth Hamblin here, and I'm coming at to you live from Belgium. I actually just got to Belgium like an hour ago. It turns out my team was actually having a bit of a training camp in France, so after I landed in Amsterdam, I drove straight to France, met my team, and had like three days of training camp. So that ended this morning, and we drove back here to Bren, where I finally get to move in to my apartment. I'm here, I'm very excited. Let me just give you a quick little tour here. Welcome to my apartment. Here we have the living room with a pretty cute little view, if I must say so. My couch and TV, dining table for two, so if anyone wants to come visit, that's where you'll be sitting. A little mini bathroom there, kitchen. And then come back here, we've got laundry and my room. So, oh, and the bathroom. But anyways, really excited to get to finally unpack and kind of settle in. I've been living out of my suitcase since, basically since I, I don't know, I've just always been living out of my suitcase. So I'm really excited to just unpack here and settle in. So let's get going. Packing is going to take a quick pause because it is quarter after six right now and all the stores close super early in Europe. So I'm about to run over to Carrefour, the local grocery store, and get some dinner stuff and a few extra things to cozy up the home. So BRB. Made it back from the store, got a few groceries here. Little mini stock up. More to come tomorrow. But while I wait for my water to boil for my dinner, let's do some unpacking. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty much unpacked, and by unpacked I mean things are just basically moved from my suitcase onto my shelves. Not really super organized yet, I mean I need to go get some hangers and some other things tomorrow to help me get it all where it should be and looking in a way that is aesthetically pleasing. But it's getting kind of late here and I am going to hit the hay. So that's good night. Just two days ago, finally got to move into my apartment here. So I'm just kind of in that awkward phase of moving in where everything's unpacked, but nothing is really where it should be. The problem is though, most of these furnished apartments don't really come with everything that you really need to live. And I really struggle with it because you know you're only here for like six or seven months, but getting to the point in my life where I kind of want to just be comfortable and actually really enjoy my time in this little apartment and feel at home. So today I am going to go shopping and going to go get some stuff to help me settle in and kind of organize my stuff. So see here I've got a little closet organizer thing, but all that stuff is stuff I need to hang up, but I don't have any hangers, so I need to go get some hangers. And then I can actually hang them up in here. I've got some shelves that need some organizing. I don't have anywhere to put my hats or my scarves. And it's like, I've got some random stuff here that I need to get put away. I don't have a laundry basket, so I'm gonna fix that. Although I really, I wanna get a cute mug. Nothing like that cozy mug on a cold day, maybe a cup of tea. I think I'm gonna start with a list because I love a good list. Do I need to list out reasons why I should make a list? That might be doing too much. Got my list all made. Also added some groceries to the list because my fridge is empty and need to stock up the pantry because eating out here is very expensive. So you will see me cooking and I don't mind that at all. It's time to hit the store. Well, made it back from shopping. Kind of struck out. Got a blender, so that's good. I can make some smoothies. Also found some twinkle lights at a craft store. So can brighten up my room a little bit. And a Swiffer, because cleaning is important. I got some groceries, but I decided I think I'm gonna try and go into Ikea tomorrow since we have an off day and who knows anything can happen at Ikea. Welcome. <laughs> okay, just made it back from Ikea. Got a pretty decent haul for like 85 euros. Got a pillow because my pillows on my bed feel like, I don't know what, but they don't feel like pillows. Laundry hamper, 
necessary at the rate that we go through clothes. Baking tray, because I love to cook and bake and Christmas is also coming up, so this is highly necessary. Towel, self-explanatory. Mug, because mine are way too small and I love me some tea. Rolling pin, also for the baking. Whisk, pillowcase for my new pillow. Cinnamon scented candle, perfect for fall. Some hangers, a baking bowl, and most importantly, some plants. So here we have a nice little, I don't know, ivy something, soon to be named. And then, I just couldn't resist and got some succulents, and they're so cute. Look at them, they're so fluffy. So these will also be named very soon and set out where they will be well loved and admired. So, it's time to turn this apartment into my home. going to attempt to put up fairy lights with painter's tape. It's probably gonna fail, but it's just the struggles of living in a place that's not your own, so you can't put tacks or holes in the wall. This is the only thing I could think of, so wish me luck. Not dark, but the grand reveal. Yes, I love it. Now I've got my ledge pretty much cleared off, except I left my books and my games and my cords. And then I've got my candle. The most important thing is about to go on now. It's time to put my plants on my ledge. I feel like he's definitely a corner type of guy. Get him. And now for my succulents, aka my Cacti, cacti, cacti. Oops, don't get poked. Oh, look at this guy, he's so fluffy. Hey, you are adorable. This nice little plant ledge. That is so cute. Ooh, my babies. Oh, whoops, sorry. I think I know what I'm gonna name them. I'm gonna go after the three stooges. So we've got Curly, cause his little things are curly. And then instead of Larry, this guy's gonna be Harry. And then this guy can be Mo. Okay, well, it appears that I'm pretty much settled in here. Thanks for following along. I'm very excited to get things rolling here as the Belgium season begins and I'll make sure to keep you all posted on everything that's going on. Make sure to subscribe and like this if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Well, you guys will all be pleased to know that I came home tonight to see my lovely twinkle lights. Didn't even last 12 hours. <laughs>